All right, y'all. This is what I just did, and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. And here we go. Made my own intro. Into playing the game. Can y'all believe that? show y'all how to do that. I'm about to show y'all how to do that here in a minute. All right, go ahead and do the computer. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Mad Dad's Gaming coming back at y'all with another video on how to do your own intro for your retro pie. Uh, I'm going to be using two pieces of software, uh, which is Photoshop, and I'm going to also be using VideoPath for Professional uh, in, by NCH. Uh, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do this is as you can see on the screen I'm actually in Photoshop right now and this is what I've been I made this is how I made it I grabbed the picture off and made that and I'm gonna show you what picture I use so uh, you know you go try to get some free images uh, from the you know like Google images or whatever you want to do uh, you go get images from there and I'm gonna pull up my downloads folder right quick there we go and then this is the photo I used right here as you can see there it is right there so I'll just uh, what I did was I just went ahead and opened it in Photoshop so I opened it in Photoshop and then I grabbed it and then I just added a text over here just add a text you know grab your text you know I can go over here hit uh, the image right here you know here's the background and the effects and all that so you can change it over to the right over there where my the mouse is but this is what you can do you can add it and change up the settings in, in here so this was just the first part I was just trying to throw some stuff in there uh, the second part is this part the ending part here so I went ahead and grabbed this picture so let me go over there and we go back to downloads and I grabbed this picture as you can see right here so I grabbed that picture and then I did the same thing um, just close that so you guys so y'all can see so I did the same thing over here and grab this and you can actually do text on this one too if you hit it it should you can actually change it up this way here in Photoshop and uh, if you want a little bit more in detail on how to actually use Photoshop just let me know I can actually make a video on that too but I just wanted to show you what I did kind of pulled it over and did that uh, and then went ahead and blended uh, the options there so you can actually have the light around there uh, you know the, the lighting around that okay that's what I did there okay so you got to make your photos and stuff first or be even if you wanted to uh, grab some videos now once you make your your intro uh, pictures your JPEGs uh, you know you got them in Photoshop and you save them you know save as different ones you know go to file save as and then save it as you want once you do that, then you open up your video pad, okay? And as you can see, I'm gonna just show y'all what I have here. Um, so I have my video files here, video file, and then I have my images. And this is uh, some of the images I was trying to do beforehand. <laughs> you know, that was just a plain one, you know? And then different ones there. So I, I ended up using these two right here. And then what you do is, if you're using this software is what I'm saying, and this is uh, y'all basically in any software you use, if you add a, a, a image to it, you can actually, uh, when you uh, click on it, you can actually go down, uh, sorry, where is it at here? Um, no, look, sorry. When you actually put it on the list, then you can go ahead and say how long you want it to, um, you know, how long you want it to go. And I'm trying to see if I could change that. Uh, I think normally I go through, uh, where is it at here? Uh, normally, when I put it down under there, I can actually go ahead and change it. Uh, it's not actually in here, but once I change it, just because I'm actually, I, I have the video up and everything like that already. Uh, so right here, uh, let's see, there it is, change clip speed. Here we go. So instead of being, since I have the video up, sorry about that, but uh, once you come down here, uh, you can say change clip speed, and then you can change it. You know whatever how you wanted to change it to and then uh, you know you can do all of that stuff you can change the clip all that stuff there so that's what I did grab those two you know grab those 
pictures off of there and then what I did was I have my video file so my video file is actually my you know my intro of my channel and so I made it so I pulled, pulled the first video sequence so I pulled the first one down right here you know pull the first one down there and then what I did was I grabbed you know there's some audio files that you can grab so here's the audio file I'll play that for you that's in the beginning there so I played that and then this is the ending one for the end so I grabbed those files and what I did was I put so I pulled the first images down so once I get done like once I imported my images that I had I pulled it down as you can see right here and then over here on the audio track I didn't have any because you know it's just a picture so I had to actually add that audio file to here and once I added the audio file then it comes up and sh will show on there and then I put my intro to my as you can see over here I put my intro to my um, channel right there in the middle and then over here I did, did the same thing I grabbed the image off of here pulled it down and then I added the last uh, sequence of the audio file to this and then that's when it uh, so once you get done with that it'll actually come up looking like this so let's play this oh hold on wrong one sorry there we go play it done so you got if you finish if you, if you want to add more to it if you want to add more like if you just want to get a video clip of, of, of something else I was thinking about adding like a video clip of, uh, of Raiden doing his thing or, or like a, a, a what is it a big trouble little China how you know <laughs> I was thinking about doing that but uh, I don't know yeah I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do but uh, I wanted to show you but that's how you do it so then you come over here file you know save as uh, you know you save it as what you want to save it to you know save uh, you know export uh, you can save as you can save the project first so that way you can add stuff to it then you come over to export the video and then you export it like this go to file and then video file and then you can actually save you want it in 4k any of that stuff here uh, like I said this is just the software I use and uh, once you do that uh, then you can save it where you want to save it okay once you save it then it actually be in the video area and then that's when you do this so here's the file explorer over here got that over there uh, and then uh, again where's the video so there's my video I got my splash and I named it splash screen because I was doing some other ones but I named it there okay so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I got my uh, my cabinet on and I got the retro retro Pi I mean Raspberry Pi on I got the uh, it's, it is connected to the network so once you do that you come over here to you can actually type it right here and you just click left click on here like right here just open up uh, the file explorer here open up file explorer and it'll just be all this here that you can see and then you click here and then you could just you do backslash backslash or sorry and then you hit re uh, retro pie so you just type in retro pie as you can see right here so just like that so back backslash retro pie and you click on it and then next thing you know you see you got the bios you got the roms you got your configs and then you got your uh, splash screen so once you do that now you got it in the splash screen so now you just double click on the splash screens and then there's going to be uh, some more in there if you have some uh, already if you have a preloaded image this was actually an image that I loaded up myself so it didn't have anything in there uh, but as you can see I put I just copied uh, my intro which is this one right here sorry that was the newest one so my intro pie and then pasted it inside that folder then what you got to do is go back to uh, your system go under you know under options or uh, retro pie uh, setup 
and then it will actually say, you know, it'll have all the stuff there, ES themes, Wi-Fi, you know, bezel, project, you know, all that stuff there to have all that stuff down there. So you go all the way down to splash screens and you hit A and let it load, let it load in. Then it's going to say, which, uh, do you want to change your, uh, your splash screen? You click on it. It's actually going to say, do you want to add a, a splash screen? So you click on that and it will actually say, where is it? And it's already going to be in there. So you just select it. Once you select it, then it's actually going to boot up now as that uh, main video you selected. So uh, hopefully this helped y'all a little bit. Uh, and I'll try to show y'all a little bit over there on, on the actual screen uh, here in a minute once you go and select it. So that way you can see that too. So all right, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to go ahead over to the uh, system so you can actually see what I was talking about. All right, so I'm over here on the cabinet now. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit options. And then you're going to see it right here, audio, Bluetooth, all that. Just go down, uh, keep going down. And you go down the splash screens. Click on that. And you're going to see it. There it is right there. Choose your splash screen, right? So you click on that. And then it's going to actually say RetroPie splash screens. Or own or extra. See that right there? So you're number two. And then you're going to see that you already have yours right there. And then you click OK. And it will be set. I already have it set, so I'm not going to set it. But that's what you do. And again, I appreciate y'all coming to the channel to check it out and uh y'all have a good one all right appreciate y'all y'all have a good one thanks for coming to the channel peace tell me pretty lights look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake